Okay, so we're continuing on in our, this video, uh, painting our hair texture. Again, just going through with the darker colour and laying down where the, the deeper shadows of the hair will be. Don't forget to check on Max every now and then to make sure everything is falling where you want it and how it's looking on the model itself. Now that I'm happy with how the darker colours and the mid-tones are actually working, I can go through and add a, some of the highlights to the hair. So just um, a few little strands here and there to, to add some highlights to the actual hair here. So you'll notice I'm not going from all the way to um, from front to back on this one. I'm just staying around the centre of the hair where, where it would hit where the light would hit it mostly. Okay, I've noticed here that the, sh the hair strands on this particular strand isn't going in the right direction, so I'm, I'm opening up my UVW unwrap and rotating it until I've got the hair in the, way the direction that I want it to follow. So it may happen that on some of these, since we're, they're just doing strands and we 
we just put them all together um, they're not following the same um, flow as the actual strand should on the hair so just go through and have a look if it's not following the right direction rotate it until it is so now I'm just adding a bit of a gradient from uh, root to tip uh, to add some depth to the hair from and shadow from of to the hair so from the scalp down to the tip of the hair Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to add a pretty quick um, alpha to the hair. So we've got the bait start of our alpha on over here already. So uh, we can start now by adding the the tips of our hair. So I'm just going to use uh, black and just adding it down to the tip of the hair. And then I'm going to use my smudge tool and smudge it out so it looks like strands of hair coming down through the bottom there. So I'm just going to do this for each strand of hair. So just laying down black and then using my smudge tool to smudge the white out and bring the black up just to make it look like strands of, and clumps of hair. Okay, so once that's done and I'm happy with it, um, I need to copy that entire layer. Uh, so just Control or A to select all of it, Control C to copy it, and then go over into my channels palette and where my alpha one, um, my alpha channel is down the bottom, I'll paste it into there. So Control V into that. If you don't have an alpha one channel, just go to new and it'll make a new one for you. Uh, this time when we save it as a TGA we need to make sure it is 32 bit otherwise it won't save the alpha channel and when we go back into max we can in our opacity channel make sure that it's using the same texture as our head layer and make sure it, that way the, the, the alpha will be applied as well so it'll use the alpha channel Okay, so now we've done that, we can continue to adjust our hair to how we like it. I'll just make this uh, group so I'll tidy up my layers a little bit more. And having a look at it, I think the hair is a bit... Um, almost monotone so I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of um, red through it so a lot of brown hair does have some red fleck through it. Uh, it it isn't just brown hair sometimes it'll have a bit of blonde in there as well so I'm just adding a little bit of red to add a little bit of variation and to break up the solid brown of the hair
Okay, excellent. So that's our face um, layer done. So the same way, we're going to do the same thing now to create the spec layer for our face as we did with our body. I'm going to um, open up my uh, head diffuse, desaturate it, and then I'm going to use levels and brightness control and different colors in order to create the texture that I want, the, the specular that I want for each part of the face. Now, um, I'm also going to add a little bit extra to the face as well. Um, at, once I get the base color that I want, I'm going to add a little bit more um, using different brushes and blacks and grays. I'm going to add a little bit more definition around the face just in the specular channel, in the specular layer, sorry. Okay, you can obviously see too that the where the eyeshadow, the eyeliner is, it's it's quite white. This isn't going to be the, how we want it, so we don't want the eyeliner to be super shiny. Um, but for now, I'm just looking at the actual skin itself. I can adjust the makeup later. Now, as I said before, I'm going to add a little bit extra to this, the face um, specular channel. So around areas where we get particularly oily or greasy, I'm going to add, uh, you're just using a speckle brush. Um, I think this is actually a brush that I've got of a skin texture that I found online again. Just a whole bunch of free um, textures that I, or brushes that I've found online and I'm going to add lighter areas where we would have the oiliness of our skin. So just trying to add just a little bit of um, variety in the in the spec channel. Now this is only going to be in the spec channel. I'm not going to min mimic this in the, the skin channel. This is just to bring in, um, the, to mimic where the oiliness or where the residues would sit on our face. Here I'm just playing with the, the the complexion of her skin a little bit more, so adding a little bit more dark areas which make it a little bit more matte um, and having a little bit few more highlighted areas as well. 
just around the cheeks again where the, the oils and the residues would sit and obviously on the chin as well because it sticks out Okay, so I'm going to continue working on that and we can stop this video here and we'll pick it up in the next one.